All right, and shalom. First and foremost, I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and salutations unto the elect. All right, and uh, in this lesson, I mean, it's like it. This lesson, it's like it, will be uh, you know, centered around. You know how you know a uh, bishop Nate's you know uh, recent you know uh, Passover uh, ceremony if, you, if if you can call it that you know the Passover is supposed to be a solemn assembly and you know what he did it wasn't a solemn assembly all right and Lord willing you know I put the link in the description to the video that I will you know that I'm reacting to all right by uh, Elder Manata Zagba but not Manata Zagba you know he posted a uh, a video. You know, um, showing that showing Bishop Nate coming into a, you know, the Passover, you know, he making a grand entrance with everybody cheering him on, clapping for him. You know, you have men's wife cheering him on, you know, uh, he coming in, you no know, running, you know, waving his hand, you know, just walking in as, as if the as if he's like a, a big man. All right. You no, know, basically, you know, he walked in there as a, a proud man. All right. I'm just going to say it like that. He walked in there. As a proud man, all right, and you no, know, we should always lead. You know, you know we should you know we we should always go by the example of Yahweh Shai, man. That's exactly what you know. That's the exact opposite of what Yahweh Shai did. All right, Yahweh Shai didn't make himself of uh, any reputation. All right, he didn't come up all proud. <clears throat> I'm oh, I'm the son of God. You know, um, all you know, all proud and boastful and mighty, man. No, he came, he was lowly, man. And we're gonna get a precept on that, you know, uh very shortly, man. But you no, know, I just wanted to, you know, address, you know, and uh, you know, do a rebuke video, you know, concerning Bishop Nate and how he, you know, conducted himself, you know, during the Passover. Not only, you know, was he, you know, made the grand entrance and made himself of a made himself um, you know, exalted himself, all right, where he has everybody praising him. You know, you had one person that even said, you know, Bishop Nate, Nate, Nate Nathaniel is the, uh, what? I don't want to, I don't want to quote it incorrectly, but he, you know, one of his members said Bishop Nate is the, 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 um, best prophet alive. All right. You no, know, one of his uh, congregations said that. Okay. And I, I'm slacky if I'm, you know, quoting that wrong, but you know, it's roughly par par paraphrasing that. Okay. You no, know, but <clears throat> let's just get, you no know, straight into the scriptures. Okay. Just to rebuke, you know, Bishop Nate in his pride, man. And, you know, he should humble down, man, you know, before the sight of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Or the Lord is going to put him down. All right, humble him greatly. All right, so uh, this is Matthew 23 and uh, and let's get verse 12. And it says, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. All right, and that is that not you know, what Bishop Nate was doing? All right, and I'm going to put the video, you know, in the link in the description. For those of you that are watching, you can watch that, you know, click on the link and watch it, you know. But basically what he did, you know, he, that's what he did. Okay, he exalted himself. All right. He had his little theme song. You know, he was dressed in nice garment. You know, he, and he likes that. He likes when people praise him. And you, you, you can tell by, you know, how he acted. Okay, he was running, waving his hand. You know, he liked, you know, the praise of his congregation, man. All right, he's basically exalting himself. All right, and we're and we're not in the time to exalt ourselves. All right, we're in captivity. All right, we're not supposed to be high and mighty, uh, and um, happy and happy go lucky, man. Which this is a sorrowful time we're in because we're in yet this day in our captivity. All right, waiting for our Lord Yahweh to come back. Matter of fact, you no. Know, before I continue in that precept, I just want to get a precept in Ecclesiastes. All right, um, it's like your um, Ecclesiastes. Uh, three. All right, and we start at verse one. It says, "For to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. All right, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance." All right. And um, that's that's pretty much the point right there. OK, there's a what it's saying here is basically there's a time for everything. All right. 
you know, uh, but we're not in the time to be uh, laughing and rejoicing and, you know, lifting ourselves, lifting ourselves up in pride. All right. You know, we're in the time of mourning and languishing, man. We're supposed to be humble, you know, in the sight of the Lord so he can exalt us, you know, in due time. All right. And, and, and we're going to be exalted, you know, Lord willing, when we get delivered. All right. When the kingdom of heaven is established on earth. All right. But we can't, you know, exalt ourselves now, you know, while we in a low, a, a, a low place are right, in captivity. It's, it's not the time to do that. All right. We're going to have that time very, very soon. But now is not the time. All right. As the scripture was saying, hey, it's a time for everything. All right. So um, let's um, let's go back to that uh, Matthew. All right. So we're not in the time to be, you know, uh, lifting ourselves up in pride, man. You know, we're, this is the time to be in, in a repentful spirit or right, in a sorrowful spirit and um, humbling ourselves, you know, so that we can be, you know, saved. All right. So um, Matthew 23 and 12. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And that's isn't that not what, you know, Bishop Nathaniel is doing? All right. He's exalting himself. Right, and it says he sh uh he shall be abased. All right. Soon the Lord is going to, you know, um, abase no Bishop Nathaniel, man, if he doesn't repent, you know, for what he's doing. All right. And it says he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. All right. So ultimately, the elect are going to be humble on his side, man. And in due time, the elect will be exalted all right? because the elect understood the time that they were in and humbled themselves. And then. When the Lord saw their humility and their repentful spirit, hey, you know, the Lord exalted them. All right. And that's ultimately when we get exalted, it's going to be in the kingdom of heaven. All right. That's when we'll get all the, the glory and the, the the fame and the the uh, the honor, man, all right, in the kingdom of heaven. But not now in, in this current time, man. OK. And, um, you know, look at our Lord. All right. He didn't come in a, a, a proud manner. All right. He didn't come in a. A boastful manner, all right? He came lowly and humble because that's what he had to do, all right? Because that was the time that he was in. He wasn't in the time to lift himself up in pride. He was in the time to be humble, you know, and be the uh, the sacrifice, you know, the, the sacrificial lamb for the uh, for the Israelites, man. All right, so let's get um, Philippians 2 and 5. Um, all right, Philippians 2 and 5. Let this mind... Being you, which was also in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who being in the form of the of God, thought it thought it not robbery to be equal with God. All right. Verse seven. Here's the point. But made himself no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. All right. So he made himself no reputation. All right. And that's exactly the opposite of what Bishop Nathaniel is doing. He's making himself a reputation. All right. You know, um, you know, you have his congregation calling him many different, you know, names, ex exaltive names at that. You know, like I said before, you know, he one 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 of his congregations say he's the greatest prophet alive, something like that. You know, no, that's not what she, that's not you know, the type of energy energy you should be you know wanting. All right. But um. Let's, uh, Yahweh Shai didn't make himself a no reputation. All right, he said he, it said it took he took upon him the form of a servant. All right, a servant is a uh, is a humble position. All right, you're serving. All right, that's a humble position to be a servant, all right? and that's exactly what Yahweh Shai did. And he came in the flesh. It said that he was made in the likeness of men. So that was you no know, ultimate humility. Okay, he came in the human flesh. All right, and we should you know. You no, know, we should uh, take after uh, Yahweh Shai, okay? He's our, you know, he's our uh, example. As stated in uh, the book of Hebrews, all right? He's our example, man. You know, and uh, the scriptures say how we're, uh, the servant is, well, let's let's just co continue reading and we're going to get that. So it says, verse 8, and being found in the fashion as a man, all right, he came in the flesh. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. All right, so he had to, Yahweh Shai had to humble himself, man. Here it is, Yahweh Shai, he's the son of the Most High, Yahweh. All right, but he he had to come in the human flesh, man. All right, he he, he created them, everything we see. All right, he's a, he's a God. He's not the God, but he's a God. He's a power, man. All right, but he had to humble himself because he knew that he had to fulfill prophecy, man. 
All right, and we should come in that same you know that that same spirit. Okay, we should humble ourselves. All right, the servant is not greater than his master, man. All right, and Bishop Nathaniel is definitely not greater than Yahweh Shai, man. So why is he trying to exalt himself on this side when why is he trying to exalt himself in this decrepit flesh when Yahweh Shai didn't even exalt himself in it in while he was in the flesh, you know? Okay, so um with that, um let's get um John 13 and 16. All right. Wait, did I finish off that precept? It's like here. I don't think I did. Hold on. Philippians 2. Uh, yeah, verse 8. And being found in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. All right. So he had to die for the sins of Israel, man, so that we be maybe reconciled back to the Heavenly Father. All right. Reconciled meaning, you know, f made me to me to be made a friend again. All right. We're now friends with the most, not high, the elect, you know, starting with the elect. We're now friends with the most high again through Yahweh Shai. All right. And it says, wherefore, verse nine, wherefore God, the most high, also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. All right. Did we not read that in, uh, you know, from Matthew 23 and 12, that whosoever shall be, um, well, let's just get it, you know, go back to it. All right. All right, it says, whosoever shall exalt himself, exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. All right, and that's exactly what Yahweh Shai did. He humbled himself. And then the Lord Yahweh, you know, exalt, exalted him, man. All right. The Lord is not a man that he shall lie, man. All right, so let's get John 13 and 16, okay? And this is to prove that the servant is not greater than his master. All right, we're servants of Yahweh Shai. All right, so we're not supposed to, you no, know, you know, try and make a reputation for ourselves, you know, give ourselves some big name. All right, so uh, John 3, 16, it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. All right, and we're the servants here, all right, the prophets. All right, we're serving, and you know, all, those, all of us you know who believe in on Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, all right, the prophets and the believers, man. All right, we're not greater than our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. All right, it says, Neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. All right. So we're, ser we're servants of Yahweh Shai, man. So we shouldn't try and put ourselves up, you no know, greater than Yahweh Shai. All right. We're supposed to, you know, take that hump, that low road, the humble route. All right. That's the ultimately the best way to be humble. All right. But that's not what Bishop Nate's doing. All right, and he's definitely not greater than Yahweh Shai. So why is he, you know, why are you, you know, putting yourself up on a pedestal? All right. You know, why are you uh, going into the Passover in that type of manner? All right, last Passover, you went in on a horse. Yahweh Shai didn't even come in on a horse. He came in on an, an ass, all right, a donkey, humble, all right, lowly. He didn't make himself any reputation, you know. So it's, it's, it's all messed up, man. So, um, I'm going to get this one last precept, and Lord willing, that'll be it. And, uh, Colossians, all right? Matter of fact, no, nah, I pretty, no, we don't got to get that precept. You know, I made my point, you know? All right, so, um, hopefully, you know, you brothers and sisters of the, uh, hopeful elect were edified. And I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and salutations unto the elect. Wait, <laughs> peace and salutations unto the elect. I forgot one more precept. Now those that those of you that stuck in, I got. I forgot one more precept. Salakia. Let's get a Proverbs sixteen. This this precept popped up to me as soon as I was gonna uh, close out. You know, so um. We get Proverbs 16 and 18, all right? And this is the main scripture that we bring out to, you know, uh, go into pride, man. All right, it says, Proverbs 16 and 18, Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. All right? So, 
when it, when destruction comes, you know, best you best believe there was pride that was before it, man. All right, someone was lifted up in pride, and the Lord don't like that. Lord don't like a man that's uplifted. All right, lifted up in pride. All right, think he the the big shot. No, Yahweh Shai is the big shot. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is the big shot, all right? Not, you no know, us, you know, in the human vessels, all right? So, um, verse 19, it says, Better it is to be of a humble spirit with the lowly. All right, and this is wisdom right here, man. All right, it's better to, this is, this is instructions on how to live your life. All right, it says it is better to be of a humble spirit. With the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. All right. So that's plain and simple. It's better to be of a humble and lowly spirit than to be proud and, you know, all boastful and stuff, man. All right. Because eventually the Lord will soon, you know, uh, you know, bring you down low when you're uh, proud, man. But if you stay of a humble and lowly spirit, you're going to be exalted, man. You just have to be patient and wait for it. All right. So, um. Bishop Nate, you're going off. You know, you're not supposed to be, you know, uplifting yourself, you know, all proud and stuff. You know, you need to humble yourself before the Lord humble you, man. But, you know, just a rebuke. With that, you know, I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders, a great millstone, who rule well, and peace and salutations unto the elect. Shalom.